So this is my spinach and I'm going to be washing it neatly and chopping it into small sizes. And that's what I'll be using for my customized vegetable sauce. So wait for it. Hello friends and you're welcome back to my kitchen. So on today's menu we're going to be preparing vegetable sauce and this is a more unique one because I customized it to my own taste and I decided to share with you because it's a very very nutritious sauce to have and you can have this sauce with your yam, your potatoes, your rice, just name it, it could go with anything. So the ingredients we'll be using for today's vegetable sauce would be our red peppers, so I've got four of that and I'll be blending it together with my habanero peppers. I've also got some onions which I'll be chopping into fine size. I've got a cup of oil here that I'll be using to fry my peppers. I'll also be using some salt to taste. Here's some curry, I'll be using some of this curry. And I'll be using some no cubes crushed already. I'll be taking some of it, just a little bit of it. I'll also make use of mixed vegetables. So in here I've got peas, green beans and carrot and the yellow corn in together. I'll, I'll be using some red peppers as well and this would give a lot of color and flavor to our vegetable sauce. So I've got here the yellow, the red and the green bell peppers together combined. And here I've got my minced meat and I'll be using minced meat as the protein for this vegetable sauce. You could use your fish or any other protein of your choice. Lastly, I've got my spinach. So spinach would be the main ingredient of the day. And you can see that it's lots here because spinach usually shrinks when it comes in contact with heat and it also produces its own water. So I've tried to wash it nicely and drain it out so that the, it will be as dry as possible and then produce its own water because I won't be adding water to the sauce. So come along with me as we prepare this mouth watering vegetable sauce. An ingredient I've forgotten to mention earlier is the spring onions and it gives a different flavor and a unique flavor to our vegetable sauce. So I've got it here and I've blended the pepper. So it's time to go to the cooker and begin to incorporate everything together. So I've got my pot on fire for about two minutes and it's hot now. So I'm just going to add the oil in and I can start frying immediately because the hot will, the hot pot will heat up the oil quicker. As you can, as you can hear, it's already sizzling. So I'm just going to add my chopped onions in as well. And next, I'll add in my minced meat. I'll stir this. I'll stir it for about five minutes. I'll add in one tablespoon of curry. and a tablespoon of my stock cheese and I'll continue to stir so I'm going to stir this for 5 minutes 
before adding in my tomato. I'll stir for five minutes before adding in my blended pepper. This has been on for five minutes. I'm going to add in my blended pepper and I'll stir and allow it to fry for eight minutes. So as you can see some moisture has gone out of the pepper and the minced meat so what i'm going to add next is my mixed vegetables and i'll add in my mixed pepper as well the mixed pepper will go in as well. And I'll stir and combine together. You can see how colorful it's looking and very nutritious. So with this you don't leave it on the fire for too long so I'm going straight away to add in my vegetables while I add it in I stir just so that they all get incorporated or adding more vegetables so all of these vegetables will be going in well, I'll be putting them in in bits so that it's easy to stir. So as I said earlier, our vegetables would eventually shrink in and produce its own moisture. So it looks bulky when you've chopped it, but later on, when it's steamed, it becomes shrunk. So I'll keep stirring to combine everything together. As you can see, it's coming out beautifully. It's a very, very nutritious vegetable sauce. And this is customized. Feel free to recreate it and tag me on my Instagram handle or on my Facebook. As I said, you could have it with rice, yam, potatoes, Couscous, you could have it with your pasta, it goes with a lot of things. So I'm just going to add some more vegetables in and stir. Then I'll add in the last bit of the vegetable. Now what I'm going to do is, I would, I would let this to steam up a little bit before stirring. I'll also add in my spring onions now. I'll let this to steam for eight minutes before stirring again. So guys, this is the finished bit. You can see how delicious it looks and how attractive and colorful it looks. And it tastes very, very delicious as well so the last thing i'm going to be adding in here is some sardines as i told you is a customized vegetable sauce so nothing is too much to add in it 
and this is it guys our vegetable sauce is ready if you enjoyed watching this video and making this sauce with me kindly give it a thumbs up kindly click on the red subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that as soon as I drop more videos you'll be one of the first people to get notified thank you and until next time bye